Hey y'all, so real quick, I'm gonna show you how to properly cut your lace on your wig so it can look as natural as possible. So here is a raw Indian five by five closure unit that I constructed from my brand. All right, so I'm gonna be wearing her glueless, so let me put her on. I'm gonna be wearing her glueless, so I will not be using any type of uh, glue or not even um what they call it, the got to be glued free spray. I know some people before they cut their lace, they like to go ahead and spray it on. In my case, I'm not gonna be doing that. So all you're gonna need is some clips and your scissors or whatever you wanna use to cut your lace. Some people like to use a little blade. All right. I have a light baby hair, so what I'm going to do is just push them back and clip them out the way so I don't cut them off on accident. Be so mommy, I'm trying to work with this camera. All right, so even though this is a closure, people tend to just cut a line straight across this because it's a closure. However, you wanna treat it like it's a frontal and, and follow your hairline and work in session. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut down the middle so I can work with this section and then this section. And I like to leave just a tad bit of lace. So I'm gonna start stop like a little bit right before the baby hair. All right, so now that I have that the way, oh, I should've brought a rubber band. If you have a rubber band, All right, so now that my hair is out the way, what you'll do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna go in like a zigzag motion. So please take your time because you don't wanna hurt yourself or ruin your lace. Go in a zigzag motion, going right in front of the hairline. And then we'll clean it up after. And then once you get to this portion, I like to clip up to the wig. See, you, you see that little piece right there? I don't know if you can see that. We'll just cut that off. So hold on a second, let me get in the mirror for this part. So yeah, I just cut that off completely. And then we'll do the same thing from this side, except I, instead of, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna work from down to up instead of the middle. Let me get it to where I don't clip off. So the hairs. All right, so that's what we have so far. And just for those little almost. All right, so after taking a quicker, uh, closer look in the mirror over here instead of the camera, I have decided that there is too much lace and I may go ahead and cut it in such a way where I might be taking off some baby hairs. So, 
All I'll do is pretty much the same thing. It's just too much lace on my forehead, in my opinion. Boom, there we go. That's starting to blend a lot better. But as you can see, this is why it's so, in my opinion, so important to cut it on your, on your, while you're wearing the wig, when you have a closure. I know some people, they think, oh, since it's not a front, I can just cut straight across. But you see how much of a difference that made? And then, to make little repairs, I just kind of go in like a triangle motion to fix that. So it makes all the difference with just how you cut your lace. And this isn't even HD slice. This is just your typical brown Swiss lace. So the key takeaway points is um, to definitely go across your own hairline Make sure you take off those little edge pieces if they're there. The, you know, the little folded pieces on the track, like this here. The little folded part, make sure you cut that off. And then, what else? If you feel like there's too much lace on your forehead, even after getting close to the baby hair, go ahead and reassess and um, cut off some of those baby hair if you need to. I feel like that's more important. Um, I feel like it looking natural is more important. All right. So, yes. This is what she's looking like. So yeah, this is what she's looking like. Glueless. <laughs> 